there, this is Sharon from FearlessPursuits.com where I help you create an epic life and business and find your potential. I'm really glad you could be here today because I have an important question for you. Is your life going the way you want it to? Do you maybe feel like you need or want a new career? Is your life feeling unfulfilled and maybe boring with each and every passing day? Maybe you ended a very long, meaningful, committed relationship and you're feeling really lost and you don't know what to do with your life anymore. If any of those reasons resonated with you, more than likely you need to reinvent your life on some level. Now, I am no stranger to reinventing my life either. After all, I have reinvented my life many times. And I'd like to share a little story with you. I had dreamt about creating a skin spa for some time. And I worked very hard at making that come true. And the day it finally happened, I was elated. I couldn't believe that I was finally making it happen. I was on top of the world. Everything was just perfect. And as time went on, I literally had created a money-making machine. But there was a problem that no one could really see. See, one of my top core values or the top core values for me is my family and being there for my family because I didn't have that growing up. So I said when I have my own family, I was going to be the best mom and the best provider and support system and loving mom I could be. But creating my skin spa, as successful as it was, meant that I had to go away every single day for hours and hours. And my youngest was about three or four years old. And she had only known that her mom was there every day. And it was so drastic for her to have me gone. It broke my heart. She would cry every day when I was leaving to work. And I drove to work crying my eyes out and somehow getting myself together to work with the clients. And I managed to do it. And every single day this happened. It went on for months and years. It never ended. What was worse is my second core value is my health and fitness. I couldn't actually go work out very much at that point because I was so busy working in my business. And I wasn't able to eat very well because I was so busy working in the business. My brick and mortar skin spa that was so successful turned into a J-O-B. And it wouldn't function unless I was there every day. I was so depressed. I was so low. My blueprint said that I would be the best mom and I would be strong, healthy, and fit. And I was neither of those things. I was distraught, sad, empty, and not sure what I could do. I was not living my dream. I thought that was what I needed to do, but I was wrong. And I realized that my family was falling apart. My health and my fitness was nothing like it was before. And I needed a change, a big change. And that is one of the reasons why I started Fearless Pursuits. I now have a free life. I am with my children every day. My health and fitness is better than it has ever been. And a woman my age needs to work on her health and fitness because my life is essentially half over and it is so important for me to be strong to my core values and what's important to me. So for you and how you're feeling, you need to take a look at your core values and if what you're doing and how you're living your life is going against your blueprint and your core values, it's time for you to take a look at reinventing your life. The one thing that I had to do was change everything. I sold my business. I sold all of my furniture. I ended up moving from the state I was living in and I started my life over. We, we moved to a completely different environment. I sold my car and I had no furniture anymore. I was literally starting over. 
I had reinvented my life and I couldn't be more happy. But what came out of that was some fear and risk taking chances and growth. The bottom line is, is you need to work on your own personal growth. And it's scary when you have to do that because there's other people involved and you want to make sure that what you do with your life impacts others in a positive way. So today in this video, I'm going to go through a few steps to help you figure out what you need to do to reinvent your life. So talking about growth, we need to figure out how you can look at your life and figure out what needs to be changed and how you can grow and move beyond your fear. So the first step here is dissecting what's wrong with your life, what's right with your life, what you want and your core values. Some people say, and I'll never forget someone that was close to me said, how do you know what you want when you don't know what you want? Well, that's a really good question. And the fact of the matter is, is that it all starts from your core values. If you don't know your top five core values, you're in trouble. So let's take a look at your life and see how it aligns with your core values. As I was saying in my story, what was most important is that I spend time with my children, that I give them all the support that they need. I was a latchkey kid growing up. I did not have anyone around that even cared about whether I had brushed my hair or not. So I'm on the other end of the spectrum here wanting to be with them, but I want to have that freedom and be authentic to who I am and what's important to my children. And that would be spending time with them and making sure that I have my health and fitness. So let's take a look at your core values. See if you can identify at least your top three, minimum your top three, and look at how you've designed your life, your work, how your, your, your friends are and what you're doing with your health. And let's see what's going on in your life. That would be step one. Now in step two, this is a very difficult concept for a lot of people to really understand that they need to do this. And it's taking a look at your circle of influence. Now Jim Rohn had a very great quote that I love is, you are the average of the five people that you surround yourself with. So understanding that if you have friends that are maybe toxic or they just simply aren't interested in growing, and you are, then you won't be able to grow on the level that you want to as long as you keep hanging out with them. Family is difficult because there's a lot of dysfunctional relationships out there. It seems like there really is not such thing as a perfect family. We all have some amount of dysfunction in our, our uh, relationships with our family. So we don't really want to look at that so much as we want to take a look at day-to-day who is in your life, who's supporting you, who is lifting you up and inspiring you and helping you move towards your goals and your dreams. If you have people in your life that are negative and telling you that your dreams are worthless and pointless, then those are probably the people that you want to identify as who you want to spend less time with. I don't like the idea of anyone saying, let's eliminate those people unless they really do hurt you in some way. But what we want to do, what's most important here is to just start to eliminate yourself from there, but also to start bringing people in your life that are going to, to support your dreams and your goals and help you grow ultimately is what you need. So here in step three, I want you to ask yourself why you want to change. Like we were talking about before, let's take a look at your reasons. So did you have a long committed relationship, maybe a divorce? That is a really big reason why people want to reinvent themselves. Are you just miserable maybe in um, where you live in your city? Maybe you want a different climate? Um, maybe you're not making the amount of money. Maybe you want to start a different business. Like in my case, I started a completely different business and understanding how business works. 
you you realize that sometimes when you start a brick and mortar or some type of business, you've really just gotten yourself a J-O-B. So those are real important factors for understanding why you want to reinvent yourself. Now, we, we want to take it a step further and see the feelings that you would get from um, changing. So in my case, the feeling that I got with getting rid of the skin spa was relief. I would feel relieved when I would get rid of that and I would be home with the children. I felt a sense of um, fulfillment that I was, I was living out a dream of mine to, have, to be a mother and have children. That was a dream of mine. I'm not going to make any money from it and that's a problem, but I realized I needed to do something else obviously for that. But what feeling are you going to get by changing your life, by reinventing your life, moving, starting a new career, um, bringing new people into your life? What feeling would that give you? Is it happy? Is it sad? Does it feel like a drag? We need to take a look at why you want to reinvent yourself. Finally, in step four, I want you to speak it. It's a simple step, but what's really important here is to gain some accountability. So announce it to the people that will support you. Now remember, we have toxic people in your life. Don't bother telling them what you're doing because it'll only feed the fuel for whatever issues there may be. So take a look in who might be your support system and announce it to them what it is that you're planning on doing. Set these goals. We need to make sure that we can write down your goals so that you can have them in your day. You want to revisit them a couple of times a day so they stay in the forefront of your mind. But the most important thing is to have some sort of accountability system. We have great friends and family for that. Sometimes you can hire a coach to do that. Someone to help you reach your goals. It's so important for you to speak what it is that you want in your life so that you can reach your goals and your dreams. Thanks so much for coming here today. I hope you got a lot out of this video to help you reinvent your life. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to share it if you think that this would help someone that you know too and help build this community to grow, to be strong, to help as many people as we can by subscribing. And if you want more inspirational and motivational and helpful information just like this, head over to fearlesspursuits.com. Thanks for coming. Until next time.